A spectacular show in Mercer County, New Jersey. Take a look at this. The community there officially inaugurating the country's largest Hindu temple. The newly constructed campus in Robbinsville, built by more than 12,000 volunteers, will soon open its doors to the public. Our Eddie Kadam made a visit today and gave us a tour. My first reaction when I got here was that I can't believe that I'm still in New Jersey. This is a modern marvel and it's beautiful and what's happening on the outside isn't even as amazing as what's happening on the inside here teaching people about the indian culture about the hindu culture from all walks of life and it's an exciting experience for anybody that can come from new york city about an hour away philadelphia about an hour away so the location is key here that wholesome experience of what it's like to be from that part of the world what it's like to be hindu is available here now and, and i don't have to talk about it it's 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 manifest it's tangible the Great Mandir on the Akshardham campus has about 2 million cubic feet of stone and stands about 190 feet tall. The structure is rooted in history while also utilizing current innovations like heated floors and lighting to heighten the experience for everyone that comes. So never before in the building of these Hindu houses of worship have you been able to place the pillars in a way where there's enough space for people to admire the architecture and at once admire um, uh, the deity, the sacred images which are the heart of, of a Hindu house of worship. Volunteers have been at the forefront of the building. <laughs> They're offering their time for construction, cleaning, and cooking, and they estimate a total of 4.7 million man hours was required to complete the Mandir. A lot of people are leaving so speechless after their experience. A lot of them haven't visited India before, but they feel like they're in India after coming here to the BAPS Swaminarayan so Akshardham. Miranda Takar has been volunteering since 2012 and remembers when the space was empty. What I thought it meant to me back then, it's just infinitely more now. Like now I can bring my daughter here and I can teach her about her culture. It's, this isn't something that I had when I was growing up. It was difficult for my parents and I love that I'm able to do that for my daughter. The Grand Mandir features 58 decorative ceiling designs and over 13,000 individual carved stone pieces. The stones here sink um, and everyone hears a different song. This is one of the many tributes to Pramukh Swami Maharaj. He was inspired to build something like this, and he actually got to come and see it before he died. That was in 2014. And behind me here, you can see several different thought leaders from American history, Martin Luther King, Albert Einstein. The goal here is for people to know that no matter what walk of life, whatever faith they may follow, they are welcome here, and the doors will open October 18th in Robbinsville. Eddie Kadem, Fox 29 News.